if there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I love trucks. But what I love more than trucks is small trucks. Trucks called key truck. ChatGPT defines a key truck as a small lightweight commercial vehicle from Japan designed for efficient urban transport. It's compact, fuel efficient, and often used in agriculture and small businesses. However, today we'll probably be using it to crash. I've seen YouTube videos popping up recently showcasing the Abishu Shima by Bacon Zez and decided I want to take a look at it myself. However, upon searching, I actually found another Abishu called the Abishu Kevin, made by a guy named EZO and released not too long ago. So I feel like the sudden influx of Abishu Shima videos may have pushed the creator to release it early as it is actually still classed as a work in progress and is in alpha. But we're going to take a look at it today. But it's not really going to be a comparison. It's just a fun video. Uh, of two freaking key trucks. Bring more key trucks to BeamNG, that's all I'm saying. Now I'd like to get this over and done with before my two hour parking expires. So we'll start off with Kevin and then we'll come back for the Shimmer uh, straight after. I think my first test, uh, not a test, but first part of the review should of course be um, the bit where the car starts. There we go. Off we go. Let's go Kev. So this is the Abishu Kevin, AKA Kevo, I think. Um, it is still a work in progress and uh, has 14 configurations, can you believe? Insane. Um, we're going to do the first test here, which is just a simple crash test. Straight into this wall, right here, and see how we fare against this bollard. Now, I have crash cam on, and I don't love it, to be honest. It's a bit annoying, and I can't be able to turn it off, even though it's just a simple thing in the sense. Right, would we have survived? The engine did, because the engine is based in the uh, center there, underneath this plate, which we... Can we take it off? Oh, we can. Ugh. Oh, somehow... It... Okay, we made that a lot worse than it was, but I, I think it's safe to say that we may not have survived that crash. If we look in first person, I mean, we're sat in the back. Um, there's not much room for us, and this bollard is taking up quite a bit of room. Um, on to the next bit, I guess. As I say, there are 14 variations of Kevo, and one of them is a drift version. We'll go through them in just a second as we get to the top of this car park. But I did try and spawn in the drift one because I wanted to do a cool thing where I just skid up this car park, all cool and stuff. But the drift one is so slow. This is actually the turbo model, and it can drift. I think I may... Oh my god, look at that. Oh, I'm the best. I'm the best. Yeah, I'm a B-Men drifter. Get around there again. Will I make it up? No, I think I've, I've ruined it. I've not quite. Okay. Look at that. Still doing 11s, as it's called, if you're cool like me. Um, so, yeah, this is the turbo model, which I think actually only has like a 550cc engine, but has some fat turbo. It is also actually uh, four-wheel drive, but I was using it in two. So it's probably quite a lot quicker in four. Not as skiddy though. Whoa! Oops. So I spawned in two different models here. One of them is the pre facelift and one of them is the facelift. This one is actually the skipper model, which has a much better transmission. This is only a three speed 550cc. Well, this is also a 550cc, but it uh, boasts a better um, transmission locking front and rear differential which is cool in the skipper model um and uh yeah we're basically just going to compare them i'm pretty sure they're exactly the same it's just the exterior that's different and i just want to see what i can get away with opening uh on here so oh let's have a look okay we can do that much that's great we can open doors that's always handy oh why are we going in the modern one we want to have a look on the older of the two ah i want to go down the pa oh also apparently the yep yeah, the tailgate drops. That's all you need. 
that's literally all you need. I wish you could run it like, I mean, I know you literally can run it like this, but I wish you could pin these down because I love the idea of like the wheels being covered and it looking all like low ridery. You can see what I would do with a um, key truck if I got my hands on one. Uh, the bonnet latch doesn't open on this. Um, it's a common theme amongst BMNG key trucks, apparently. No spoilers there. Uh, but if we peep in, we can see Oh, a little 500cc engine. And one thing that always gets me beam is the moving parts. Like, oh, I, I, I've gone into it too much, but this spins. It's an actual fuel. Oh, my God, beam engine. I love you so much. All right, anyway. So going into the truck here, we can just see a nice, nice level of detail. Uh, not many, like, interactive switches. However, I do know that if we uh, turn on the... Um, what's the first click of the keys called? Like, not the ignition switch. Anyway, uh, we can see this light here blinks up, which is cool. I do wonder if these lights blink up when you lock the different stuff in the other one, but we will be able to see that in a sec. And something I noticed earlier is when you, like, accelerate and brake, let's start her up, holding on to the, uh, the thing here. Oh, I, I released the handbrake. Oh, there we go. See, so the brake and accelerator actually do a thing. And obviously the gear stick moves. I think that's amazing. I'm pretty sure it's the same in all BMG cars, but the, th the thing is, when you're like, I guess when you're building a mod, it doesn't do that for you. You have to like tell it to do that, right? Or am I wrong there? I don't know. It's cool. It's a nice level of detail. The interior is actually super nice. Also like under here, like who's looking under here? Why have you detailed under here? It's just, just, just cool. All right, let's have a look in the facelift to see if anything more than just uh, just the exterior changed. However, I'm not too hopeful. Uh, looking at the steering wheel is the same. Instrument cluster is exactly the same. If we actually switch into this vehicle as well and we start the engine, obviously we had the lights on the cluster, but does the diff? No. Nothing changes when you change. This isn't a criticism. I can't build mods, all right? It's fine. I'm fine with it. I don't want to talk about it anymore, but the interior does look very samey. There's a, again, like no real interaction in here, which again, not a criticism, I swear. Oh my God, please, please. If you're ever watching a video and I'm actually like talking about your mod, please know it's only in respect. A little bit of information about this then. So I think it's based on a Daihatsu high jet. So around 1995, so mid 90s, um, but it also could be looking at this model here, a Suzuki carry, I think. So this one here to me looks like the high jet these cool looking looking eyes and then this one here looks like the suzuki um carry so both both based around mid, mid 90s that's, i think that's like what both models of these key trucks are uh, anyway is because that's when they were coolest not saying that a key truck like made in 2010 isn't cool but like it's not as cool as these retro looking ones anyway let's have a look at these configurations we have the two base models one obviously pre and post facelift it seems a common theme along the way um uh we have the skipper the skipper is the one that has a locking front and rear diff um the digimatic i don't even know what that is it's cvt transmission and four wheel drive nice um and then most importantly Oh, not actually most importantly. Second most importantly, we have this drift version, which if I just spawn one of these in, you'll see... Um, sounds cool. Does not drift. Even if I clutch kick. And you're like, okay, well, Kieran, you haven't locked the diff. All right, let's have a look at the diff. Oh. Wow, that was... <laughs> well, I mean, for what it's worth, that was not doing that earlier. But let's try. Let's try and drift the drift version after all. I mean, that's what it's for, right? I mean, you just have to clutch kick. And it spins way too much. Here we go. Tires are way too chunky for this, I feel. But then I'm not a drifter. It reminds me of an MX-5. I don't know why. <laughs> if you know what an MX-5 is. Who doesn't know what an MX-5 is? Come on. The last, like, test on this map that I want to do is somewhere over here. Here we go. We have an off-road track here. And you're like, oh, why bother checking the off-road capabilities of a key truck? Well, that's because... There's a freaking off-road version. Now, there is an off-road version of both of these key trucks. So, you know, we're going to find out which one is better by um, just saying, like, which one is better. I think we're going to do two laps around this little track. Not something that I've actually raced before. So, um, wish me luck, I guess. I'm not actually timing it or anything. So, we won't really know which one's better. But I'll be able to tell you off of my vibe, you know. I, if I get vibes, I get vibes, you know. Um, this is... 
Kevin, of course. And Kevin is a bit of a bigger truck. So he is either going to be able to take more of a battering or just receive more of a battering um, because he's a bigger guy. But either way, it actually handles over these jumps quite well. There is a jump in the middle of the track here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, please don't. Oh my God, I feel like that wasn't enough. Oh my God, we're jumping a lot. Don't. I feel like it wasn't actually enough power for that jump, but it did it anyway, like a champ. I mean, it must have been enough power because otherwise, you know, wouldn't have wouldn't have powered through. All right, hopping over this here. Oh, okay. Thought we were going to crash. We have dented our bumper though, according to the little infographic on the left there. But that's fine. Um, where does the track get the? Where does the jump jump over the track? Because I'm sure I should have gone past it right now. Here we go. Yeah. Cool. Imagine like, oh my god, we need to get like AI in. Race in. We we flipped. Uh, okay, let's just, um, it's quite bottom heavy, actually. I know it hasn't rolled over, but I feel like it was gonna. Whoop! There we go. We've casually caved in the driver's door, but that's fine. Happens all the time. I love the cage on the back that's, like, protected. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're on lap number two. I think that was, uh, the, the, uh, we, we crossed under the banner thing, so that's cool. I always drop power whenever I, please don't tip, please don't tip. Whenever I hop over a jump, I don't accelerate. Let's just keep accelerating. That's actually a surefire way to blow up the engine. Let's not do that. But anyway, I'm going to take this jump here, and we're going to make it over comfortably. Oh, we changed a, we changed a gear? Why did it do that? <laughs> My God. Anyway, straight over. Screw it. Nice. Okay, so we made it over the scariest parts of the track, I, th I think. We can control the rest, at least. And obviously, we're allowed to use no grabber, because we just did. We're making up the rules as we're going along here. Oh! Okay, and uh, yep. Great, great. Engine starved oil, quick, quick. Don't be starved. I'm always too slow on the response time of like trying to lift the car up because it's just, that's not what I'm here to do. Have we gone over the track jump yet? Because if not, mate, it is really pulling to the right by the way. I didn't even steer that whole, that whole like right turn. Oh, come on, whoa. Okay, and we have made it kind of across the line. Whew. I think we can take a fair look at Kevin just as a as a quick overview. Let's flick over to our other boy. All right, so hopefully we either haven't got a ticket or the car hasn't been stolen, which it hasn't. This is the Abishu Shima, which actually you can already tell. I didn't realize how much bigger Kevin was, but the bed... No, even the bed's bigger. Um, either way, um, we'll, we'll see you later, Kevin. We've got, we've got things to do, mate. Um, it's not about size. It's about how you use it, first of all. So this is uh, the Abishu Shima. Important things to note, it is also in alpha, um, just like Kevin. The creator has said that there is going to be no stance, no 6x6, and no monster truck version. They did also say, though, that there wouldn't be a van version. And spoiler, there might already be a van version. So, um... I'm just gonna floor this and do our uh, our other tests as well. Um, I can I can hear Kev somewhere. Oh, there he is! Hi, Kev. See that, mate? Yeah, it gets a bit confused sometimes. But yeah, we're gonna plow this into the same wall we plowed. Um, I don't want to say what I was gonna say actually, and slow it right down. Here we go. About the same kind of crash. We're gonna unslow mo, and then I'm hitting one. There we go. Cool. Oh, it's changing down. Very professional. Yeah, the same kind of story here. I feel like your chances of survival might be less. The engine is still running, though. And the engine's further forward in this, I believe. Yeah, this, is, uh, this isn't looking good. The seat is very close to the driver's... Uh, the driver, the steering wheel. And the passenger is not the passenger anymore. I don't know. Is it like... Is it that horrible looking at beam engine crashes? I'm, I'm, I'm torn. It's entertaining because it's just a game and no one was injured, of course. Uh, but crashes are horrific. Don't have crashes, guys. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, yeah. So, yeah. No. You wouldn't. The, just both trucks have failed the crash test. Alright? I don't know. And the thing is, I don't know how fast we were going on either of them. They're maybe not a fair test. But I'm not a scientist. I'm a gamer. Alright? That's felt cringe. Just saying. Now, there are 11 variations. Um, one of those variations is not actually a drift one. So I've um, decided to go for the 
turbo, which, sorry for my speaking, but it's actually super hard to control. And this one isn't as drifty. Um, it's definitely as crashy. This one isn't as drifty as the turbo that Kevin has. I have noticed it's got a tow bar, though, so it'd be cool to watch this uh, to see its towing capabilities, maybe. Oh, my God, this doesn't turn. It's very sporty, though. The, 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 this car looks so cool. Like, this... I don't know. And it sounds like... It scares me. I, it makes me sound like it sounds like my PC audio is breaking, which um, isn't great. Come on, it does not like to turn. So yeah, we only have eleven versions of this. Uh, two of which are a um, van, which you know, again, Creon said he wasn't going to do that, but it's whatever. Um, we have the base model, um, I guess, manual and automatic. Is that what that means? I just assume so. Uh, the turbo, which is the one we're driving now, higher trim diesel model fitted with a turbocharged 400cc. It's only 400cc and that was so much faster than our previous. Uh, I think the engines for all of them might be... F oh, oh my god. 1000cc. Okay. Okay. 700cc in the cup. 700cc uh, in the drag. Off-road has um, 400 as well. And Freddy spec. Freddy equipped with a diesel manual. Three-speed manual and a nice set of rims. So this is just a nice, nice version. Okay, cool. Um... All right, let's have a look at the actual, you know, interior and stuff. Not of you, though, sporty boy. We've got two models over here for that. So we have the base model here, and then we have the van here. The, this isn't the sport version of the van. I just wanted the normal version. But these, uh, there's no, like, facelift. So this is it. Not, not, a, not, a, not a diss at all, by the way. So, yeah, let's open the door. And, yes, much like Kevin, we can drop the side. Oh, that side was just one single... There was no... Oh, I see. There seems to be, like, a support beam here. So so the other truck had, like, nothing here. Oh, my God. Look at the rims. I didn't even notice. The, the hubcaps. Dope. Just saying. Just saying. So this one is a slightly more simple setup. Obviously, being the base model, can't lock the diff or anything like that. Um, but let's do the dashboard test, shall we? If we turn on the lights, do we, ha we do have an indicator. Nice. Uh, start the engine here. I don't know what the point of starting the engine is. There's nothing, nothing changing. Oh my god, I like how long that takes. I don't know if I should. It just reminds me of my own car, actually. Can't really see because the light is funky, but yeah, the, the pedals are moving there. I like that, I like that. And, and obviously the gear stick is changing. Again, it's just something that if I was to make a mod, I, w I don't think I would think about this kind of stuff. I think I'd be too intrigued in like just it being a car shape that I like. Anyway, this hatch here doesn't open, but it does show us that the engine is a bit further forward than uh, previous. This is the 400cc little engine. Um, again, let's see, can we follow this back? Look at that move. Look at that move. That's just a bit of beam appreciation for me there. Oh. All right, and then we have the van variant, which I think actually, to be honest, inside and out is gonna be exactly the same. Oh, look at the tray. The, not the tray, the, it's not the bonnet, but I feel like it's called the bonnet. And this one's a manual as well, which is nice. Uh, this is probably where I would put all my like loose change and stuff because there's like a little lip, so I could never open it up to look into the bonnet. Uh, I think this is the same engine as what's in the other one as well. They're just a four, not just a 400 cc, but just a 400 cc. Um, yeah, interior is ex oh exactly the same minus I think the um, steering wheel. Yeah, the steering wheel in this one's a lot wider, and in the van it seems like a lot sportier, I guess maybe um but yeah very nice van model i like it does the top i don't know if the top comes off but i guess yeah the sides do still go down with the van top because the van is supported by these bad boys here so if you mess with them you start messing with the van which um you know that's not what i mean let me just pull the strength up and just fold it down no need for that, really. I don't know. That's a kind of funky shape. One thing I want to note, though, this is Bacon Zez's... Bacon Zez's? The creator's name is Bacon Zez, and this is their first mod release on the repo, so I think this is a sick one, to be completely honest. I'd love to see what more they have up their sleeve. Uh, okay, cool. So we've done that. Now for the real fun bit, and that is over to the off-road track, because there is an off-road version of this. Um, 400cc again, I heard. Um, and is it a manual? It is a manual. Slightly lifted, I think. Uh, chunky tires, but they're so small in comparison to this, don't you think? This one looks a lot taller, I feel. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I mean, that one looks a hell of a lot more broken. But anyway, let's uh, get it started and get it going. Time for the test. A fairly fair test, I think. Will we beat our time before? 
We don't know because we didn't time it, to be completely honest. Whoa! This one also does the cool, like, backfiry noise that makes me think my PC sound is lagging. So, I'm sure that's just what... I... That... Oh, my God. That was quite the landing. Is this the jump here? Okay. Taking the jump. Trying to go as fast as we can. Always just only just clears it, to be completely honest. And it kind of scares me. Oh, my God. That needed some correct... <laughs> it completely hopped over those little jumps. I mean, at least it lasted. I'm trying not to turn when I land, because I think that messes up the steering quite a lot. So, But it's hard, because, you know, I want to not crash equally. This is definitely way faster than the Abishu Kevin. Like, way faster. I don't know what... I mean, I am only doing 32. Maybe it's because it's smaller, it feels faster, but no. It's definitely completing this a hell of a lot faster than Kevin did. Jeez, Kev, you seeing this? I'm pretty sure I could put a bigger bigger engine in you, but it is also smaller and like and the engine is right at the front. So it's a bit more like it feels a bit more like natural in the way the weight's distributed. I don't know, like the way the tail end just goes round and it's like easier to control. I've also broken the steering. Oh my god. The one time crash camera was good to be fair. The steering is broken. And it's broken even more now, thanks to that. But that crash camera actually did me good. That's great editing. I, I, I don't have to do. Oh, my God. Do I have steering still? Wait. This was lap two, at least. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't. Yep, yeah, I can. No, I, ha I have no steering. This one might not be as good because we didn't make it. I'm, I'm determined, though. I don't give up easily uh, unless I do like long recording sessions and I do tend to give up a little bit but come on I mean this counts right it's gonna if it goes right now though I can't correct it because that that is out of the track oh no we're still doing it though we absolutely are not still doing this I mean while the Shima didn't make it round the track I would just say these guys are definitely comparable like easily quite quite similar in the way they do off-roading which is just hopping absolutely everywhere and you get lucky with your controls when you land i think that was the only difference maybe the bigger wheels on this helped me a little bit it just feels a maybe yeah maybe this does feel a little bit more robust talking of robust we are kind of done in our little tests and reviews we know what features they pack we know what variants are available but what we don't know is how fast they go down that big ramp on car jump arena now this isn't necessarily like a fair test. I have picked what I think is the best versions of both trucks. This of the Kevin is 660cc, whereas the Shima has a uh, thousand. So it's slightly faster. It's also smaller and lighter, but I feel like we're good. Let's get it going. We're gonna take one at a time because um, I don't have any friends. So, you know, uh, what's gonna happen? Oh, I'm probably gonna end up blowing up the engine, I think, before I even hit the bottom of this round. But let's see how fast we can get it. Yep. Engine's definitely going to go kaput. Hopefully it doesn't like lock up. Valve train damage, 116, 120, 130 miles an hour as we hit the end of the ramp here. Whoa, and where do we hit? Barely even 100 meters. Can we make it crash? I mean, not really. <laughs> oh, kind of. I mean, I do genuinely feel like though, you would actually survive this crash. I think you'd survive that. In fact, that was not... I mean, okay, you'd have a bit of a backache. I mean, and the engine is actually completely dead. Let's see if it's the same for the Shima. Going fast. Super fast. Oh, wow. This is already, like, hitting ridiculous... Mate, can you hear the whis whistle of the turbo? Okay. Uh, 110, 115, about 120 before it's going to blow up. It's not even going to blow up. We're hitting 120. And that actually, that was actually a lot less, but the crash is way cooler. It gets 20 points. This is not a comparison video, please. But it definitely gets more points if it was a comparison video for um, for the cool crashing. And I feel like the spinning will be enough to uh, hurt your brain. But also, it does drive, albeit into a wall. I don't think I have steering, do I? It does have a little bit of steering. All right, let's. I want to try and send them both down at like the same time. All right, so I should be able to unpause this and have these both go at the same time. Let's just see what happens. 
Oh, okay. Well, only one of us did. But that's fine. We can still catch him. I mean, he's he looks like he's struggling. Oh, no. The wall has straightened him up. All right. Let's see if we can catch him. We definitely can't, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean, he's just going absolutely... Oh, we've blown up the engine here. We are catching him, though, still. It's a task. It's a job. Try and catch him. There is no way we're going to be able to do that. Are we going to come together at the bottom even? Not even. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a good thing. Alright, I want to just try one more thing. And call me crazy. Just, just call me crazy, alright? Okay, this is the only time I'm going to attempt this. <laughs> so it could go one of two ways. Let's see which way it goes. I mean, I already know this is going to go bad. Looking looking at the front. Oh, no. I don't know, though. I don't know. We can switch vehicles as well. I'm com I'm that confident. Okay. <laughs> that was perfect timing. Oh, my God. Whoa. No. Two of them did escape. Oh, my God. I mean, some of the vehicles didn't make it. Some of them did. That went exactly how I planned. Oh, whoa. Kevin? How the hell did you get down here? Oh, my God. But ultimately, I think Kev, Kev, you, Kevo, you won that one, mate. Like, congratulations. This guy's still just trying to do his best here. There's literally nothing left of him. And he's like, yeah, please. Red flag. Red. Does that actually... Does that say red flag up here as well? Because there's been so many crashes. This is a clever map as well. I mean, it's, you've had your spotlight map. No more from me. But you just know I love you. All right. With all of that demolition, that is probably a sensible place to end it. We have two absolutely gorgeous cars here. I'm not going to lie. I... I yeah, I mean, I know I say this about every time I look at a beam mod. I say, I like X type of car. I love key trucks. I just think I'm a car kind of person, you know? I think I like cars. That's my biggest issue. But key trucks, they are just something else. Just look at this tiny thing. Um, both of these tiny things. And I, I kind of see them as like the big and little brother. I, th I think this is the old and wise man. I don't know why. And then this is the young, sporty guy. He's like, I can do it. I can do it. Um, but both literally, I mean, if we were really to compare these like, like com competition wise, I would rate them both exactly the same. Like they are this, they're just the same. They're both g great, amazing mods. Um, a lot of effort has gone into each of them. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm always gobsmacked by the uh, BeamNG modern community because it's just a skill that I cannot even comprehend. So yeah, we can leave that there. So, thanks so much for watching. This video actually was quite a lot of effort to make. Um, I tried to do some funky stuff with the replays and stuff like that. So, if you so much as liked it, I would really appreciate a like. I would also love a subscribe. I mean, if you want to see more content like this, then fine. If you think this is the only chance I've got at making content like this, then you're like, you know, I'm not my thing. Don't subscribe. It's fine. But I do have plenty of other BeamNG videos for you to go and look at or watch and whatever. So, that'd be great if you went and showed the love there too. Thanks so much for watching. Links down in the description for the mods. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.